Rob, it's not that hot in those areas right now. It could have been worse yesterday in those areas. Yeah, absolutely. Last 24 hours, we've seen a pretty significant drop in the temperatures, at least Bayside. It's still inland around the Tri-Valley out towards Solano County. We did see another day in the upper 90s, but now 60s closer to San Jose. As you can see, clear skies, northwest wind at 8 miles per hour. And there's a look at the ocean air conditioning, the coolant coming back into San Francisco, 57 degrees. The fog moving across the bay. You'll see more of that for the morning. Currently 68 degrees around San Rafael and in towards the Tri Valley. Earlier seeing 90 degree temperatures, quite a cool down now, down to 80 in Livermore and the wind starting to pick up slightly out of the west. So for your late evening plans around Livermore heading into tonight, comfortable outside. We'll stay through the 70s for about 10 o'clock tonight and we'll try to give those air conditioners a bit of a break overnight around the Tri-Valley. Low 60s heading towards tomorrow morning. So upper 50s and low 60s, what will be a little different? Will be the low clouds moving locally inland for the morning and our high temperatures tomorrow continue the downward trend, how about 80s around San Jose as you move south of downtown uh, Morgan Hill, Gilroy area, still upper 80s to low 90s. So low 90s tomorrow will be the top of where our temperatures should peak today. The hot spot today was 98 in Fairfield. Those same areas tomorrow, low 90s. Tri-Valley, upper 80s to near 90 degree temperatures. Oakland down into Hayward, into the 70s for tomorrow. Peninsula temperatures seeing 70s around San Mateo, 85 in Redwood City. And San Francisco, numbers in the upper 60s should be pretty nice for Giants baseball taking on the Phillies. First pitch at 105. We will see cooling temperatures as the game goes on. May even see a little bit of patchy low clouds towards the end of the game. For the North Bay, temperatures still hot up towards Mendocino County and Lake County. That's where numbers will still be near 100 degrees, but Santa Rosa, Sonoma, Nevada into the 80s as the south wind picks up. So winds are onshore as we talked about the coolant to the ocean air conditioning deepening up offshore as we head into Monday and Tuesday. That's leading toward temperatures to drop even more. Here's a look at your Monday high temperatures. Now we're only looking at low 80s inland. And then you can take a sigh of relief for a day on Tuesday. Upper 70s out towards Solano County. That's a 30 degree swing in temperatures. That's a big drop, but you're going to want to kind of soak it in because unfortunately, check out this seven day forecast as we head towards next weekend. San Francisco, the trend for you means low to mid 60s through the middle part of the week, jumping back into the 70s by Friday and Saturday. And the valley's looking good Monday through Wednesday, better air quality. But look at the right side of your screen. We've got 90s coming back next weekend. Coming up at 845, we'll take a look at the 10 day outlook and what could be another spike in those temperatures by next weekend. Closer look coming up in about 20 minutes. Terry, back to you. All right, Rob, thanks very much.